I grew up in the suburbs of Stockholm, and I grew up in an 1150 square foot four bedroom duplex. And I had my little room, my boy's room. I remember every single square inch. I remember the corners and the walls and the wallpaper. I had a poster of the Maldives. That little room was, you know, my empire back then. Six years ago, when I started my company in Sweden, I took the subway to the last subway station, which is Akala, which is the suburb I grew up in. And I put these headphones on and I listened to the old, you know, early 80s music. And I walked around in the neighborhood. And it was like, I got such a high and it was such an emotional, like, I don't know, explosion. I hadn't been back there for, you know, 20 years, basically. So I walked around and I walked all the way to our old house and I stood in that garden and I looked in and everything was so small and I was, I'm so big. I thought as I was growing up that it was like a major big house. I mean, that's how you feel, you know, when you're like three years old and you're walking around in this big house. My favorite part of the house is probably, you know, the kitchen. The kitchen is where you gather. It's always warm in the kitchen because, you know, the oven and the cooking and the smells. And there's a lot of love in the kitchen, a little bit of wine too sometimes. I think home for me is New York now, and it hasn't always been like that. I think the grass is always greener. When I was in Sweden, I wanted to be in New York, and then I moved to New York, and I started missing Sweden. I, I am in New York, and I love it. I love to come back to Sweden, and it's so gorgeous, and it's so beautiful, but I want to live here. To me, a home isn't about the walls, and it's not about the size. A home is, is family, and it's love, and it's like smelling the, the meat sauce and the, 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 the Swedish meatballs and the, and the, the, the wine and, and you know, the kids and the dogs and, and without that there is no home and I've seen a lot of you know I've seen a lot of very beautiful homes that are not homes because it just it doesn't have that warmth within.